What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and oh my goodness, it is so nice to say those words again. I am so pumped, so excited, glad to be back. But real quick, gameplays in the background are Biolab SD and Detroit SD, just a few rounds from some solo ranked games that I've been playing the past couple days because it has been about six months since I've played, so I was just getting my gun skill back up. So enjoy that in the background. Like I said, I am back. I will explain to what extent, and you guys should be. If you, if you like me and you're not too upset with me, you're going to really, really like this because it's going to be really good for y'all. But what kind of happened, first of all, because I owe you guys an explanation. So, for those of you who are still there, who have been there since I quit, um, you know that I made a video about quitting and I explained why and things like that. And then a few oh, weeks God. later, I made the decision to come back and, and it's... Destroy. It just, it wasn't working. I couldn't do it with school and work as well. It was too much. And I had to quit again, but I didn't make a video explaining why. So there's kind of two reasons for that. Number one was equipment failures. I'm, right now I'm literally holding things together with tape, glue, paper, rubber bands, and different colored pieces of equipment. Like, it's... I, I don't know, it's completely ghetto. I may show you guys some pictures at some point because it's, it's pretty bad. But that's the kind of thing that was going on so it was very difficult to get anything out. That being said, look, I could have made something in Movie Maker with some text or something explaining, look guys, I have to quit due to this, this, and this. So no excuse really, but that's just kind of there. The other main thing was the mental state it was putting me in. So... I don't know how to explain this exactly, but not doing YouTube and gaming is really depressing for me. I, I mean, it's really what I want to do, it's my passion, and realizing that I wasn't going to be able to continue it, and I was going to have to go to school, and then get stuck in a 9 to 5 job for the rest of my life type thing, like, it was not something I was looking forward to, and it just, it was tearing me up inside, and I couldn't bring myself to go through telling you guys that I was quitting again and I couldn't go through just interacting with everybody and being reminded of it because I tried to play COD like one time and I literally started crying because of all the memories it brought up and it was just I know I'm a crybaby it's stupid I'm super emotional but it was it was just tearing me up inside I couldn't do it so I I don't really think that's a good excuse either, but that's just kind of what was going on. So I apologize for that. But as I said in the beginning here, I am returning. And when I say I'm returning, this is what I mean. We're talking about daily uploads, possibly even double daily uploads. We're talking about the fact that I just quit school and may, may go back to school if things don't work out in about one to two years. But I'm giving myself a year to two years to get things to try and work here. Um, I'm going to be getting a PS4 and some of the equipment for that as time goes on. I'm going to be upgrading the internet in hopefully a few months so that I can do the tournaments and things and that I can start live streaming. Um, I'm going to be, I mean, honestly, I'm going to be treating this like a job. We're talking four hours a day of gaming. We're talking about doing the part-time job as well and then doing YouTube every day. Um, it's going to be pretty crazy. We're talking 14, 16 hour days, but I think I can do it. I mean, it's just, it's what I really want to do. And so I'm going to try my best to make it happen. So let's talk about what some of the goals and plans are. So I'm looking at this first month, getting back into things, committing to you guys to uploading daily, proving that to you guys. Also proving that to some of the networks, because I need to try and go ahead and get um, a different network to help with the money thing. Look, as I said, treating this like a job now, money is going to be a little bit more of a priority, so I've, I've got to do some things with that. Um, I'm going to be looking at just starting to get some more graphics, like the outros and things. I've got a test outro at the end of this one. I'm going to be working on my thumbnail editing skills and things like that because those things are pretty important if I'm going to be doing this full time. Um, also, 
in the two to three month time range, we're looking at upgrading the internet and beginning to stream. And that's when I'm planning on entering the paid tournaments. And that is some thunder and lightning in the background. I apologize for that, but it has been raining all day and there's been no break. So I just, I have to record through it. Really sorry about that. But anyway, and also within that two to three month time frame, I want to have a team, a solid team for Black Ops 3. And that's kind of what we're looking at for two to three months at one year's time. And this may seem a little crazy, but I think we can do it. I want to have about 100,000 subscribers with, you know, 20 to 30,000 views of video. That might be a little bit much, but that's kind of the, the goal there. Um, and in two years time, I'm looking at, at that point, quitting the part-time job and having about 300,000 subscribers and 50 to 70,000 views of video. So those goals seem a little bit crazy, possibly. I do think they're realistic though, especially with uploading daily. Um, just kind of looking at the trends of my channel before I quit and looking at the trends of other channels and how things typically work, I, I do think it's kind of reasonable to do. Um, but those are kind of the things I need to do. If I reach those goals in two years time, then I should be self-sufficient off of YouTube and I could quit the job and I wouldn't have to go back to school. So that's kind of the goal. That's what I'm looking at. Um, and it's just, it's going to be something I'm going to be striving for. So as far as what kind of content to be expecting from me, we're looking at, of course, continuing competitive stuff now, uh, for a few days here, I'm going to be still, cause I don't have a team or anything. I'm probably going to be doing some more ranked game plays and stuff like that. Uh, maybe playing with a few people that I'm looking at teaming with stuff like that. Um, and the topics will be talking mostly about Black Ops 3 stuff, maybe a few just competitive tips and tricks in general, uh, stuff like that. I will be playing the beta, but it will be Xbox One, obviously, since I've already missed the PS4 and I can't get the PS4 in time for that. So I'm going to get like the beta code for that and then actually be playing Black Ops 3 on PS4 when it comes out. So that's kind of the plan. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.